Hi, this is Lindsay from Litwood Lens, and today I'm going to show you how to use Grammarly. Grammarly is a free writing app to make sure your messages, documents, and social media posts are clear and mistake free. It's a great tool to use in your classroom to help find grammatical errors and to check spelling. It has been a huge time saver for both my students and I, and I've used this tool for quite a while. And now I require my students to use the Grammarly extension as well to check all of their writing prior to turning it in. So I'm going to show you how this works. I've actually pulled up a student essay that a student wrote earlier this week. And what you're going to do is highlight the text. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to copy it. And then open up the Grammarly website. As you can see here, I'm currently logged into the free version. However, there's also a premium version that has many other features that can be checked. Since students will most likely be using the free version, I thought that would be the best option to show you for this video. Once you click on the Grammarly tab, you'll be taken to your dashboard, which you see here. You will click on the new option and then you're going to type your title, which I will call this student essay. Then I'm going to paste the text into the box. And then grammar will immediately start identifying any mistakes it finds. As you can see here on the right. So here I see, for example, that were is underlined. And if I look at it, I click this down error, arrow, it's going to show me that there doesn't need to be a comma there. So if I agree with it, I'll go ahead and click on that and it will fix the mistake. But let's just say I see something that I don't feel is a mistake and I click on that. I am going to click ignore and then it will erase the underlined area and you can move on to the next mistake that it's found. So as you can see, it's very quick. It saves you a lot of time and um, it has just been so beneficial for both my students and I. I hope you found this video helpful and hopefully you'll try it out and use it for grading papers as well as have your students use it. It's such a great time saver, like I said, and it can help your students learn to identify common grammatical errors and to check spelling.